Well, Rob Coslup predicted it. 1-1, one, one, he said. 1-1, one, one, it finished. Frustration, though, yeah? I think getting your noses ahead so late on and then getting undone by a basic goal is disappointing. We just can't keep a clean sheet, can we? No, story of the season, and it's happened again. But the introduction of Sharp, I think, shows Slavisa. If ever Sharp is fit, he starts. Doesn't he? Because in the in the cameo role he's played, he gives he gives Sheffield United some confidence coming on. Yeah, the ball sticks when it goes up to him as well. So. He gives the opportunity for others to come into play. We know all this, we, we, yeah. we've covered it so many times. We know what Billy Sharp does and that that one change, all of a sudden, bit of quality goal. Yeah, he held, he, held, he held the ball up. I mean, Gibbs White gets confidence and he can run mm. off, he knows the ball's coming up. So again, but at the end of the day, you come away from a, it's not the worst result, in the, in it, is it? If you can capitalise with a, a few wins in a bit, but the way that they let the goal in at the end, it's disappointing. Strange second half, never really came to life until, well, the last 15 minutes or so. Let's spool on to the 77th minute. And this was the moment where we thought that Sheffield United might just have done enough. Morgan Gibbs White on the end of this Billy Sharp cross. And again, we've said it before, from this point, it's about seeing the game out. Yeah, these balls that Gibbs White's just picked up there, there were signs of that first half that was opening Forest up. So getting in those pockets to supply in there, and Sharpie looks up. I mean, you're going to get the quality from Sharpie in that, in that area there. So the decision's made. Gibbs White's nose. Thank you very much, isn't it? Yeah, it's Excuse clever play. It's good link up between the pair of them, isn't it? Gibbs White feeds it to Sharp and then just continues, gets across his marker and yeah, finds good. the back of the net. So at this point, there's 13 minutes to go. What are you wanting to see from your team if you're Slavisha Jakanovic? I think Slavisha, obviously, into you get back into your shape, you know your jobs, you know all know your roles and responsibilities. The ball in from Brennan Johnson for the equaliser is not of any eye quality, it's mm. just stuck in. So Bogle will be disappointed and then the, the, the distances between the, the back four, aren't they? They're not good enough. Yeah. Can you become vulnerable when you've just scored? Because that seems to be the case where United are concerned. You can, but if it keeps happening, then you obviously are aware of it and you, like, you go, listen, lads, and it's your bashams, isn't it? What we, you've been putting there for the leadership roles to say, come on, let's get this sorted. Mm. Well, the lead lasted five minutes. Lewis Graben, who actually started on the bench, finished this one off. And, you know, the guys in commentary picked out, well, a few faults in this. First, the, the cross. And how on earth has Graben got time to get a couple of... Oh, this is the one mm. before he gets one the goal, before, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So this was a warning. Well, we spoke about when Graben was introduced, didn't you? Five goals this season and he's on the bench. So it's a, he's one of your main strikers. So to put him on, balls coming in like that, he's going he's to get chances. Yeah, he did score two minutes after that chance. Um, and again, no one to stop the cross. And he's got time to control it and get his... Yeah, Bogle's desire to stop that cross, not good enough. It hits him on the shoulder, ricochets, isn't it? So this here, this Bogle here just... Throwing a leg there, with with ten minutes left, I'm doing everything to stop that sh stop that cross. Yeah, isn't it? it's the dif difference between one point and three. Defense too deep. Well, like you say, if you say too deep, but you've still got to defend, and if you're too deep, you've got to know you you've got to get it away. Mm. So that was a real kick in the teeth. But Rian Brewster, um, it's been a difficult night for him again. Yeah, it's great play from Gibbs White. He knows what he's about, and in that. He actually does nothing, does he? I don't even smash it, don't even place it to the side of the keeper. He actually does everything that he shouldn't really do. So I'd have rather seen it go high and wide and then put something onto that. Mm. Is that is that a lack of confidence then, do you think? Looking at that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and where does this leave Rian Brewster? Because we said at the top that this felt like a big opportunity. Yeah, the tonight. big are opportunity. They, are they running out now? He's played the full 90 minutes, which Slavis has obviously said, because he, he had times, he could have made changes, he could have brought Brewster off, but he, he's gave him the 90 minutes to say, this is your chance, you've had your 90 minutes, and, and, and the same re at the end of the day, isn't it? Just not quite good enough. Well, it means that Blackburn game, if, if you said a four-point return from the next two games is required, then they've got to go there and, and win that. Um, that by no means is a, is a straightforward exercise at the moment. But you can follow it with us live here on SUTV Live. Richard Graves, Brian Dean and Kevin Gage, your team for that one, three o'clock start. Hope you can join us at the weekend. Well, another frustrating night for Sheffield United. They were so close to getting three points from Nottingham Forest. It ends all square. Thank you for watching. And that includes you, Michael Brown.
who's been with us. I know he has because he's been texting Rob throughout. Uh, good to have you with us, Michael. Uh, we'll see you again soon, but for now, it's goodbye.